multiplying money. When you multiply with money, you simply have to remember the decimal rule. To multiply a decimal, ignore the decimal and multiply the numbers. Count how many total decimal places are in the original factors. Place the decimal point by counting backwards from the end of the number as many places as you counted in step two. Ask yourself if your answer makes sense. Let's try a few. Thirty-eight dollars and fifty-two cents times eight. Start by multiplying thirty-eight fifty-two by eight. Notice we did not line up the decimals. You only line them up for addition and subtraction. Thirty-eight dollars and fifty-two cents has. Two decimal places, while eight has none. Thus, we have two total decimal places. Since we have two decimal places, we must count two places backwards from the end of our number. Our decimal belongs between the eight and the one. Three hundred and eight dollars and sixteen cents. Let's estimate to see if our answer makes sense. Thirty-eight dollars and fifty-two cents is close to forty dollars. Our answer is fairly close to three hundred and twenty dollars, so we know this is a reasonable answer. If we had put the decimal in the wrong spot and thought that our answer was three zero eight one point six, we would know that this is not even close. It costs one dollar and thirty-five cents for a piece of pizza, and Brandon wants to buy. Five pieces for himself and his friend. How much will this cost? Start by multiplying one thirty-five by five. This comes out to six seventy-five. Now we must count. How many decimal places are in the original factors? One dollar and thirty-five cents has two decimal places, while five has none. Thus, we have two total decimal places. Since we have two decimal places, we must count two places backwards from the end of our number. Our decimal belongs between the six and the seven. Six dollars and seventy-five cents. Does this answer make sense? Yes. Each piece is a little more than a dollar, and the answer is close to this. Have you found a shortcut yet? If you are multiplying a money amount with dollars and cents by a whole number, you will always move the decimal back two places. Veronica makes nine dollars and eighty-five cents an hour at her new job. If she works twelve hours this week, how much money will she make? Take a minute and do the multiplication. Remember, you need to ignore the decimal and multiply nine eighty-five by twelve.
Where should the decimal go? Use the shortcut or count the number of decimal places in the original factors. One hundred and eighteen dollars and twenty cents. Does this answer make sense? Yes, because nine dollars and eighty five cents is close to ten dollars, and ten dollars times twelve equals a hundred and twenty dollars. Our answer is close to this. Take a look at the summary of the lesson.